We're winning. Are we going to get it? Are we going to win it? What is up guys? Welcome on back to another Copart walk around. Unfortunately today, if the camera will stay focused, it is um, raining or wet. So I can't bring out the uh, the big boy Sony. Come on camera, focus. <laughs> My bad. I can't bring out the big boy Sony. So today we're out here shooting with the Samsung, the uh, Galaxy S20 FE. Uh, on the gimbal which never seems to go where I want it to but anyways we're gonna get into some vehicles that are coming up for auction today uh, and get directly into it all right so one of the first things is actually let me get my mask off now that I'm away from the office not a car this is a can-am now it is listed as a water and a flood but I don't see anything on this that would freak me out I mean these are made to dog on to beat on right this is a 2019 Can-Am Commander two-tone 1000R. Look at this thing, man. That is like a thing of beauty. Now, this is a water slash flood. You can see what a water line was. So it's kind of like, eh. And I apologize in advance, guys, if the audio sounds like a potato. This week, the uh, external mics unfortunately don't work with this. And I got to work with what I got considering the weather. So... I hope you guys understand. Uh-oh, did they break the key? You are kidding me. Yep. Well, somebody busted the key. That sucks. That sucks big fat donkey balls. But, there it is. Let's uh, keep it moving and see what else we can find. Today's video, guys, is also being shot in 4K, so we'll see how it goes. It's not 4K 60, I think it's 4K 30, but I'll work with it. I'll work with it. All right, so we got a few different vehicles that are coming up this week uh, that I am going to look at. Now, I know y'all are going to say, TK, you're only looking at the Fiat because, you know, Fiat, Chrysler, or whatever. And no, I'm not wearing my boots this week. I'm wearing my good sneakers, which kind of pisses me off, but... I was in such a rush to get out the door. This, for many of y'all that don't know, is a Fiat 500. Now, okay, I thought it was something special, but it's not. It's just a regular Fiat 500. All right. Regular old Fiat 500 here. Looks good, though. 83,000 miles. You can see the suspension is definitely broke there in the front. From whatever it was that hit it something hit it pretty significantly down here mm. but the rest of the car seems to look okay if you ask me well let's go ahead and take a look at the interior it was a student's car 83,000 miles it's got power now, I don't know what something like this is going to go for. The fact that it could run and it has less than 100,000 miles could also mean that these people will overbid. Uh-oh. Look, these are flimsy as hell, man. Flimsy-ass buttons. All right, let's see if she starts. Almost sounds like it's got no compression. Look at the Christmas tree. Look at the flashing. Like, this is not an LED issue. The lights are literally doing this. That's crazy. Hold on. One more time. Got plenty of gas.
almost like the timing belt might have broke. Mm, it almost sounded like it wanted to catch. This is listed as a run and drive. There it is. There it is. Come on. Catch, 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 catch. Wow. Boy, if you had a low battery and you tried to start this thing, forget about it. Never mind the flashing lights that look like you're going to have a seizure in the dashboard. Jesus. This is almost as bad as the hard tuned Sonic, man. I can't even believe this has a back seat. And I don't know what kind of material this uh, ceiling, it's almost like it feels like cardboard. I mean, it's a cute little shit car. I mean, at least the wheel turns, even though it's bent up there, but I don't know, man. Now that it's running, it seems fine. It's not idling rough or anything. That's weird. But again, I mean, what is that? Fix it again, Tony. This is the only thing that concerned me when I was looking at buying my um, Hellcat Red Eye and then, you know, kind of came to fruition when it blew up, basically. You know, looking at this, let me see if she goes in the gear. Goes in reverse. Goes in the drive. Goes in the gear and everything. But I wonder why it won't start easy. Let's see if it starts this time. Now it fires right up. I wonder if it just had some bad stuff in the fuel system or something. Yeah, now it fires right up. Now, the, my concern is <coughs> the weird-ass lights that are all flashing. I swear, this is not about camera refresh rate or nothing. It's literally, like, they're literally blinking in here like this. Crazy. Don't make no damn sense. Don't make no damn sense. Alright, let's put the key back up here for the next sucker that wants to come in here. <laughs> but hey, at least it might start for the next person. They don't have to work for it. It'll just start. Oh. This is going to be a no for me. Oh. Just because I don't want to have the problem when it, uh, eventually needs massive amounts of work i mean some of the um what do you call it the uh cracked stuff here like the like pin striping or whatever you want to call it um that's not as concerning as far as putting you know fixing that stuff but the rest of it nah not for me all right Now this ought to make my guy Carrington happy. Shout out to my dude Carrington. Mr. Nissan himself. We have a Nissan Ultima, right? This is a Maxima. Wait a minute. Is this really a Maxima? It looks like an Ultima from the front. No, it is. It is a Maxima. I'm going to shut up now. 190,000 miles on the clock. It is listed as a run and drive. And was the security light blinking? Yep. So she may have power. Ooh, it smells like Fumunda cheese in here, man. <laughs> and for you trolls in the comments, Fumunda these nuts! Ooh, she fired right up, too. Carrington, you, you, you might get to see your first Nissan on the channel. Oh, wow, that thing is empty, empty. <laughs> or is the needle broke oh the, ne the gas needles broke look it's all the way around the other way the hell look at that <laughs> hundred and ninety thousand miles it does have a check engine light the interior is a little dirty it's not nasty but it does really smell like fumoni cheese in here it feels like it smells like under my balls after working out at the gym. <laughs> I know y'all be like, yo. Alright. Alright, Karen, Karen, I don't know how to put this armrest back, but there we go. Woo! Nasty back there, though. 
I don't know. I don't know, Carrington. We'll add it to the watch list. It is coming up today. So, it's not running rough. Even though the idle is a little high. That brought it down a little bit, but not much. The idle is a little high. Let's see if she goes into gear. She's got brakes. Yep. Goes into reverse. Goes into drive. All right. Not a bad looking. Not a bad look. Uh, Carrington, this might be a Nissan that we, we get. We'll have to see what happens, buddy. I, I kind of like this one. Fired up immediately. You really can't beat that, man. You can't beat that at all. All right, now I got to go look at some cars that I know for y'all that don't like German shit. You're gonna get you're gonna get mad, but I don't care. Let's go. All right. I want to say what this is C class or is it E class? C class. Yep. But it does not look like this one has power. So, man, it really stinks in here. I'm not going to waste my time on this one. And then we have this Audi here which was a flood car, and you can see where the water line is. I know. You guys are gonna say, no, don't do it. Don't do it. But it's clean though, look how clean it looks. And it's got that nice green, and it's an S line. And it's an A4, and it's the new one too. Now it says bio and mold. Oh wow, it smells like. Oof. Yeah, she's done. Done, ladies and gentlemen. All done. That is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Look at that. Mmm. I can't even get close in there, man. Jesus, that's gross. Yeah, I mean, I know some of y'all could say, oh, it just needs a really good detail, TK. And, you know, if the salt water didn't do any damage, it'd probably be a really good car. But I'm going to say that this one is uh, definitely a wrap. Definitely a wrap. Brings me to this bright red Impala. It has a high water line. It does have a high water line, but it's only got 56,000 miles. It is a 13. The tent is super dark, and if it has leather seats, which it does, I'm not as concerned about the flood damage as I would be if this was cloth interior. But I do see the mold and stuff starting to grow on this one. But I think... This one could be cleaned up, but do you want to know how you know the salt water got in here really deep and really bad? Look at the tracks on those door on the um, on the doors on the seats right there. Look how rusted they are. Look at the rust coming out of that one piece of the metal at the back of that seat. So this is definitely salt water damaged. It is listed as a run and drive though. So you see if she's got power. She doesn't. See the thing with these, they can come in and be listed as a run and drive and then by the time I don't know what the hell that is by the time you know it comes up for auction and somebody buys it it's no longer a run and drive does that make sense like it's done at that point it's, it's just a wrap so oh look they're picking the Fiat up they had to move it to pick up something So, 
you know for this one it like if it started for me i wouldn't be as concerned but where i can't actually hear it run it's definitely not something um it's definitely not something that i would take the risk on seeing that mold and seeing the wetness and the rust in the interior i definitely have to pass now the subaru is a totally different animal listed as a run and drive oh never mind it's back here with another silverado that's uh, completely smashed yep this one is locked it says what is this, a Z06? It's a Grand Sport. So a Corvette Grand Sport. Isn't this the one that had the bad issue with the rims that GM just got sued over? It's a Grand Sport convertible, but it is locked. So we don't know if it runs and drives or nothing. The keys are in it. So it's probably not locked, it's just that the batteries are dead. More than likely. This one is also a water and a flood. Uh, Corvettes don't concern me as much as... Corvettes don't concern me as much as uh, other cars. Because these are basically all fiberglass. Yeah, the water line did come up kind of high. But it ain't ridiculous. It could be worked with, I think. I think it could be worked with. Huh. Well, you guys let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. Another one going live today is this old Toyota truck. This thing is actually, body-wise, looks like it's in good shape. From this side, I haven't been around the whole thing. 194,000 miles. It is not a run and drive, but I'm not seeing any body rot, which on these older Toyotas, like you see the bumpers got rust and stuff. Rally Toyota, that means it spent its whole life here, probably. When you see these older Toyotas, usually like the bed's rusted or the fender wells are rusted, and this one doesn't have any rot. What about the undercarriage? Mm, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Walking around this one looks pretty good. Alright. I'm going to have to check the interior. Uh-oh. Let me find out. She's locked up tighter than a button. That would suck. There we go. Manual. Five speed manual. Mileage is accurate. Pretty clean. Now you got to think about it for the year for what it is. And it's a 1991. Pretty clean. This would be a cool little project. I, mean, I already got one of these. I got a Nissan I got to finish that I haven't finished yet. So. Mm. all right the lexus is kind of interesting but at 200 200 and something thousand miles it's too much for me you know we're looking here and you can see the molds and stuff on the exterior of the body already 269,000 miles on this IS 200 turbo and yeah she's got no power the battery oof yeah she smells like raw but dussy boys mm. look at the mold on there yeah then we had to pass mm. nope that is a negative 
Boy, that Silverado really has seen better days. Say it with me. Smashed. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. That's ridiculous. Now, one thing that is um, also ridiculous, you guys remember this Durango from the auction last week? We watched it go, and it went for like 16000 and some change. This is the same one right here. It's back up again this week. Sometimes that happens. Either the insurance company doesn't accept the offer or the person doesn't actually come and pick it up or declines to pay. That happens. And this is one of those uh, vehicles. This is the one that had 33,000 miles on it. And it ran. Like, you could fire it up. It, it did run. Uh, but it had some significant damage. Like that fender, the hood, all that coolant stuff in the front would have to be replaced. All of it. That fender, eh, maybe. But, yeah. Well, oh, I'm not going to mess with it because I know if it went for 17000 last week, it's probably going to go for the same this week. So let's look and see. Let's see if we can find any diamond in the rough copart dealios, shall we? Because we only need to find like one or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this Malibu right here. Oh, it's smashed in the back. <sighs> look at this Malibu right here. The Z06 is still here. Um, the insurance companies are not taking the offers. They're just wanting way too much for the car. So, we'll see. It's on the list. It could, could get bid on again this week. But... 120,696 on the clock on this one, which is not bad. And the hit on the rear on this one looks like it's really not that bad. Like, I see it here, and I see the quarter is buckled. Like, I see that, which is going to put the door and everything else. But you could literally, like, I would tie this thing to a palm tree, you know, like drill a hole in it, put a nice sheet of metal in there, weld it, and then just drive and pull it out and then get a body guy to fill it and do do their thing with it you know oof there's gloves in here that's not a positive sign and no power it will be one that I watch because I did see this when they were bringing it in during intake so I know that it runs man it smells like gym like just balls it smells like some under cheese in there man it smells like my drawers after the gym oh it was a flood okay i didn't know that see they said it wasn't a flood and then it is listed again though that it is a flood Ugh. we will have to think about this one and hmm hmm all right I think we've made some of the subscribers happy today. Carrington got to see a, a Nissan, and we're serious about bidding on that one. Um, I'm trying to find this other. I'm not seeing the other ones from my list. They might not have pulled them up here yet. A little Toyota, huh? Yeah, no. Too much damage for me in the rear. I'm looking at what's ooh. <laughs> See, y'all, you, you know when I when that ooh comes out, ooh, you <laughs> you already you already know what it is. Come on, guys, when ooh, you know when I do that, that it's more than likely a BMW. All right, now this is an X5. Please don't tell me it's a water or flood, because if it's just like a dead battery that they don't have listed as a run and drive, these are steals. These can be steals. Prin nip. Since June, huh? Beach Cabana parking. Never mind. I know it's a water or a flood. It's coming from there. And she ain't got no. Yep. She's a flood. That's a shame. I love these E70s, man. 
they're great this was probably my favorite x5 to be honest i loved it i loved it it was awesome mm. oh well only 90,000 miles too that really wasn't that bad well on to the next one all right guys now you remember last week the hundred and fifty dollar Chevy Cobalt, right? I think it went for one seventy five actually. Uh, it's still here, so the dealer that bid on it did not pick it up, and it is still chilling right here. So I'm hoping, and sometimes it happens, or it'll be a dealer only car, and then they'll make it available to the general public. Um, we'll see. I, I, it's on my watch list, but if it's not open to the public, I can't bid on it. But you know, I would pay the 175. We saw this thing run. Actually, we lost. You guys didn't get to see this run because the footage, my SD card, like two parts, the Challenger that I squeezed into, and this, and I don't. I think they picked that up. That's gone. Um, weren't. I was not able to uh, get recover the footage it just was like a blank spot in my sd card so let me give you guys an after the fact one because this is coming back up for auction it's a little, little struggles a little bit to to get running and yes she smells like fuel but look now the check engine light could be burned out, but she's just really out of gas. You see, look, look, look at the gauge cluster. Oh wow! How about cooperate with me? There it is. Look, it's out of gas. So can't really hold it against the car. It's running like crap on whatever's left in the tank. But it runs good. And like I said, if it if it if it ever comes open, if it ever comes open to uh. The general public i will buy this sucker man it needs a good cleaning for sure <clears throat> but i'd snap it up all right guys so we're here now we just got in here to the live auction we got about 130 lots coming up so we're letting this go we'll see if we get anything up that is uh interesting let me look and see what's coming up there is that Chevy Malibu that we looked at. Sold. Let's see what it goes for. Yeah, they're going to bid this one up too, probably. I'm, I was hoping that maybe some people, you know, they got hit enough where they didn't have the money this week. And we might be able to get a deal or two. But you just never know now, man. You just never know. Turning the audio down on the music and stuff so you guys can hear me appropriately because we're doing a screencast as opposed to me recording my phone with a camera. This one's not bad. Let's go through the list and see what's available. That Ranger, an 06 Avalon for 950. What's up with it? Oof. It is the body style of it that I do like, though. It is a run and drive. Trailblazer is a run and drive. It is. Side damage, it says. Oof. Yeah. That's some pretty good damage. Biohazard, too, huh? Oh, that one's rough. Yeah, I think we've seen that one. Yeah. There's that. No, this is the Ultima. I didn't see this. I know Carrington wants to see that Maxima, though, huh? This one's 325, though. It runs and drives. Huh. I just saw them moving this Jeep on the lift as we were walking out
This one has a minimum bid. We're going to watch it because I might want that. That's coming up in 11 minutes. What's the mileage and stuff on it? Run and drive. Where's the damn? Oh, this is the wagon. Yeah, this is the wagon, guys. This is the wagon that you guys got to see on Sunday. On Sunday's walk around. This is the wagon. Oh, man. This would be super cool, man. I would love to get my hands on this. All right. Let's place a max bid. Oh. <laughs> Immediately outbid, right? Oh. All right. We'll wait for it to come up. I've seen this before too. We saw this a while back. This one's been run back through the auction. I actually did a whole video on this. The interior of this car was amazing. It was clean, man. The engine, everything. It just got took a really bad hit to the rear. Look, I told you. That damn cobalt is up again. 150 bucks. 150 bucks, guys. Ridiculous, man. Sold on approval. Look at this Aspen. That's the same year as the one we're giving away in 08. 268,000 miles. That's got the 4.7 liter V8. That sucks. It's not a Hemi, so I wouldn't want it. Not with those miles. Hell no. This is a hot lot. What's up with this Chevy Cruze, though? Come on, Internet. Oh, wow. That car is folded in half. <laughs> nope. We're scanning for deals, guys. We're scanning for deals. This actually is not a bad deal right here. Hood, headlight, fender. I bet you the rest of the car is fine. We're going to watch that one. I see they're bidding garbage up again this week, though. Bonus time. Hmm. We walked by this one, too. Now, this was listed as a run and drive. We'll watch that one. This Taurus too. I've gone by this several times in the videos. You guys have seen this one. Yeah, that's too much damage though. Look, that, that Mercedes is up again. We've watched this thing go week after week. Last week it went for like, what, 18 grand? The week before that, 16 grand. It's at 8,200 now. That just tells you that the insurance company is not letting them go. You know what I'm saying? This is a hot lot. Oh, that one's bad. Oof. I'm looking for a center for a family member I'm trying to put together, but... That one's damaged, boy. Alright, let's get back to the auction. Bonus time. Here comes our Avalon here in a minute. Sold on approval. Sold on approval. 
950. That's a lot of damage. Someone's going to bid, though. Yeah. I knew somebody would bid. Now, this one's a little too much, man. 475. I mean... If it runs and drives, it's probably great, right? 4x4. Four four. But that's a lot of damage, man. And here they go. <laughs> here they go, bidding that shit up. It's a biohazard, too, meaning it's probably all moldy and shit. Hell no. Yeah, we're not really interested in this one. I forgot to hit the start button in the truck. Was about to shut off. Come on, let this thing go, Ukraine. They're overbidding on stuff. Again. New bidder. Somebody from the Bahamas said, let me get that shit. Oh. See, now this is what we call just being an asshole, right? People, I've done it because if somebody does it to me, I will return the favor. Like they wait till the last second, they wait till it goes all the way around, and then they bid, right? Put my seatbelt on. And then they bid, right? And that's some bullshit, right? And they'll keep doing that, and then it drags out the auction for everybody else, man. Hey, look, that Sonic is back up again. Last week, this thing went for 1800 bucks. Right now, it's at 1550 Look at that right there. That tells me that they're not going to let it go. This one's 350 bucks. I tried to bid, it's not letting me. It just like, it's just so many bids coming through. They're bidding the damn thing up. I'm not overpaying for it. Not with that much, not for that much money. I was trying to get in early. Here comes everybody, look at this man. Now take now listen, this car is only worth twenty four hundred dollars, man. That's it. That's the retail on this car. They're rapidly approaching fifty percent of the value and take into account that the car is friggin' broken. Take into account that the car is friggin' broken. Alright, you gotta get a headlight, a fender, a hood, maybe a grill. Now look at this. They're at a thousand bucks, right? Eleven hundred. They're at eleven hundred dollars. After fees, this car is damn near sixteen hundred bucks right now. With a retail value of twenty four hundred bucks, once you buy a fender and a hood, a hood, you pay for the inspection. Oh my God, man! They are tripping balls. Y'all are tripping. $1,200 for that car? I just saw this on the way out the door. They were they had it on the forklift. $8,200, huh? 
and it's brand new. It's not bad. It looked, I mean, it was rolled over. You could tell it was rolled, but it didn't look horrible, you know? Now, see, something like this with the powertrain uh, and the miles that are on it, maybe, you know, it's a Jeep, right? You could tighten it up, put a hood on it, pull out the rear end, or cut it out, put bigger wheels and stuff on it. Like, you could do stuff to a Jeep. A Jeep with that kind of damage wouldn't scare me away. Okay, I see you, DR. DR was like, balling. 9700 ball in there we go we at 10 grand I don't know man people be people just be overpaying man they pay too much money for shit man Oh, man. Sold on approval, 10,300. Now we've seen this. We actually looked at this one, guys, a couple weeks ago. This is a pure sale. Now the retail value on this is almost 30 grand. So here's the thing though. This is, this is, it is a water and flood, but it's like mint on the exterior, right? No damage, runs and drives, no check engine lights. So 16200 for this, I don't consider that overpaying. That's actually a good deal. Somebody just got a really good deal on that. Now, this is me right here. Ah, I don't want to go higher than 1200 All right, let's see. Oh, $1,200, man. 1300 is what I, I can't do it i like that wagon but i'd be at like 1800 bucks and i don't even know i've never seen it run you know what i'm saying i know you guys would be like oh you're bidding on stuff but you're not trying to win you mean i'm not trying to overpay right because that's that's what it is I, I refuse i'm not gonna overpay for shit i'm just i'm just not i've had people hit me up in the dms too and be like tk you might have to overpay for one or two things so you get the content I already overpaid for the car we bought last week that you guys will get to see. It's on title pending. So I'm not even picking the car up from Copart until the title's in. Because I don't want to deal with that mess. I don't have to pay any storage fees because luckily, um, at least in done, you know, I'm waiting on title pending. When they got the title, I'll come pick it up. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to pick a vehicle up and have it for 30 days and do work to it. And then, like, there's an issue with the title. And sometimes, like, with rent-a-car companies, and this one happens to be a Hertz car, um, that could be a problem. And I'm not, where they're going through bankruptcy and shit, I was like, nah, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get stuck with a car I can't do nothing with. So, especially at $14,000. So, you guys will get to see that soon. Uh, it doesn't really need much. So, you guys will get to see that soon. As soon as they call me and tell me that the title is in, I will be picking that up ASAP. Let's look and see what this Explorer is doing. So. Eh, that's too much money. Too much money! I say it, man. I'm telling you, too much money on this one. Way too much money. No, no. They're tripping. See, like pe like cars that don't need anything, like flood cars that are just flood cars, right? You don't see any damage on the outside. Those don't require a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Cars like this, you win it for five grand, you're going to spend another three or four grand putting it back together. And the retail price of the car is 15. It's kind of like, that was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was dumb. You know, don't be stupid, stupid, because that's what it is. 
Uh, uh, I'd bid on this Honda because it's not bad, but oh, they're bidding this up, man. One more. Nope. Nope. They're not letting me get it. Listen. Nope. Damn. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna wait now. I'm I'm gonna chill. I'm not gonna get crazy with it, man. That's crazy, man. Y'all are bugging. They saw a Honda. Dude, it's like when they see the word Honda on a car, it's like seeing a chick with big with big biddies and a fat ass on South Beach wearing a string and two patches of clothing to cover her nipples. Like that's when they see Honda. Like that's literally what they're doing when they see the word Honda on a car. They're like they're like drooling and they're overpaying, man. It's a 03, man. It's not like it's not even like it's a 09 or you know what I'm saying? Like man. That should be a $400 car. Like real talk. Now they're going to put this thing up over a grand. Now think about this. It's not about the bid price. You have to I want you to think about this, guys. It's not just the price. So a thousand dollars, right? Now it's at ten, uh, one thousand fifty. Add five hundred dollars in fees, like four. Add four to five hundred in fees on top of that. Now this car is like sixteen hundred, right? Approaching seventeen hundred, and the retail value is only four grand, and you still got to fix it. You still got to get an inspection, like, it, oh, 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 they're overpaying. Now this one. This was a nice car. The motor was built. It had dining, dining parts all over it, man. So this one would be worth it. But I'm not a body guy like that. And that back end got hit super friggin' hard, man. Super friggin' hard. But that was a really nice... I'm not gonna lie. This was a really, really nice uh, BMW. Really nice BMW. 2500 that's not bad like i'd go on this car i wouldn't i wouldn't stress about somebody going to like three grand on it because this is a car that somebody's going to keep you know what i'm saying they're going to fix it and it's not a flip car you know this is an enthusiast car for sure 2550 somebody with that bonus time is going to get him so they paid 2900 nope up oh, up oh. 2650 that bonus time's a bitch man Gives people that extra second to be like, ah, it's only 50 more bucks. It's only 100 bucks. Now he's 250 more into the car. Ugh. So now he, he owns that car for like 3,200 bucks. Now this Mercedes is not bad. This one's worth 16 grand. They're going to bid this up. I bet you this thing goes for like 9 grand, which I want to bet. Let's just follow the progress of this one right here. I'm looking at nine grand. I'm looking at nine thousand bucks here, easily. This is a hot lot. I bet it is. Yeah, this is a hot slot. That's what y'all should be calling it, man. Cause somebody is banging the shit out of this one. Sixty-two hundred dollars. Sixty-three. Sixty. Do I hear? Sixty-five. 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 Can I hear sixty-seven and sideways with your mom? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven sideways with your mom. Eight, can I hear up oh, seven? 7,100, 71, can I hear 72, 72, 72, 7,300 for Huey's Garage, 73, 73, 73, <laughs> yo, yo, come on, man. Wow. Now you gotta, now this is a Mercedes, right? And a newer Mercedes. So you know this shit, the headlight's gonna be expensive, the fender's gonna be expensive, the suspension parts are eh, whatever, the hood, like, if this thing goes for more than nine grand, like they might break even, maybe. They might break even at retail, but they're going. I mean, now I know. Shout out to shout out to United Arab Emirates. I see y'all bidding. Y'all got that Arab money. I get it. I get it, man. Y'all got that. Oh, Oman said, "Yo, Oman came in here and put their nuts on the table, though." All right, UAE. I'm about to, yo. Let me find out. You letting them dudes from Oman come put their nuts on the table on y'all, man? Yeah, I, they need to have me on these auctions live. I'd be instigating their ass. I'd just be, I'd be gassing them up. 
Ooh, I'd be like, yo, you ain't gonna let him do you like that. <laughs> yo, look what he said about your mama, man. <laughs> yo. Oh, man. Look at Oman. Oman came through and said, nuts on the table. I'm putting my nuts on the table. I want this Benz, son. I want this Benz. Yo, them people from Dubai, though, they're not playing. They said, yo, we, we, we could do this all day. <laughs> I'm done. Hey, look what's back up. This was up last week. You know what it is, though? It's a rollover. Somebody flipped this car. And they're gonna bid this up. I can't I can't believe this shit. Y'all gonna bid this up. Y'all are gonna bid this up. Are you kidding me? It's you're gonna have to like it's gotta be a powertrain car, but it's got a hundred thousand miles on it. It ain't nothing special. It's a Ford four cylinder. Like what the F man? Alright, we got an Acadia. Mm, dealer only but see see this is why the dealer your dealer license if you get a dealer license is great because you can actually get some really good dealer only pricing cars um out here look at this 04 toyota highlander i was about to say <clears throat> that's not a bad price Okay, now you guys are getting. It is a salvage title too, so uh, that's kind of that's kind of a little overpriced at this point. It is a pure sale. Is the back end smashed? It is. It gets banged in the ass. Bonus time. Nah, I'm straight. That's too much money. That's crazy. I need to hit up one of those Nigerian princes and, and, and see if I can get a dealer's license in Nigeria. <laughs> Yo. A 2012 Jeep Wrangler. I'm not seeing the damage. Are you guys seeing the damage? I'm not seeing it. Oh, I see it down there at the bottom. All right. 10,000 bucks. That's not bad. So it's worth 21. So anything more than 10,500 is overpaying. They're overpaying at this point. Here we go. Bidding that shit up. Bid it up. Bid it up, damn it. Go get bid it up. Have that. Bid it up, man. Let's go. I see you, Illinois. Yo, yo, but you know, New Jersey said your mama was fat, though. New Jersey's, New Jersey said your mama was fat. All right, I'm about to say. Oh, New Jersey ain't playing that. He also said he smashed your sister. Yo, man. New Jersey said he smashed your sister and they didn't pull out. Oh, man, you know what Mexico said. Mexico said, man, bump that wall. <laughs> I'm over here. Oh, I'm having too much fun today, man. What else am I gonna do? I can't. I'm sitting over here having to watch anything I want to bid on go through the damn roof. So I gotta talk shit. Illinois, twelve thousand seven hundred. I, I, I stand up, Illinois. Probably in Chicago too, right? Chicago stand up. Chicago said it's real in these streets out here. <laughs> Yo, twelve thousand five hundred. You overpaid. Look, 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 look. Look at this. Remember last week it went for 175. Dealer only. Last week was 175. This week. One up. Oh, there it is. 175. Is somebody else gonna bid on it? Yeah! It went up. It's higher this week. Two they're at 200 now. Man, they got a whole extra 25 bucks. Oh, they're bidding this one up. All it takes is one sucker. Oh, they're tripping. It's effectively double what it was last week. 300 bucks now. Bonus time. 
Come on, North Carolina. You know you're in your feelings. You better bid on it. You really wanted it. <laughs> Yo, and then look, South Carolina's like, I'm buying this shit, dog. I told you, man. Yo, step off my step off my bid, son. I'm trying to buy this car, man. Look at these dumbasses, man. Look at these dumbasses. This car went for 175 last week. And now they're in their feelings. Somebody said something about somebody's mama. And now they're just bidding just a bid. Now, take into account, even if he wins this at 475, he's still gonna pay 400 in fees. So he just paid $875 for that Chevy Cobalt. Hell no. Hell no. All right, let's let this thing go. Sorry, guys. I knew that they were going to be bidding on this for an hour, so I just I cut it while they slow walked it. It's done. All right, we're up for that Chrysler 200. You guys saw it last week. It's back up again this week. Nineteen hundred and fifty bucks with that rear end damage. I don't know, man. Somebody's going to bid it up. Not going to be me, though. I'm not going to be a sucker. No, thank you. Retail is 4800 Come on. I know you dumbasses are going to bid it up past 50%. Let's go. Come on, man. Just do it. You know, just admit your stupidity and just bid it up. Let's go. Come on. I know you got 2500 in you. I know you got it. Like, all you can do now, literally, is just look at this shit and laugh. All right, Carrington, here's your Nissan that we just looked at. It's at $1,500. Oof. I can't do it. I can't do that. Hell no. It does run, though. I will say, I mean, you guys got to see it. It runs. It runs good. $1,750. Somebody going to slide in them DMs. Somebody about to slide in them DMs. Come on now. No, no one's gonna pull the panties to the side. Oh man, somebody was respectful. All right, here's another dealer car. Clean title, but it's water and flood damage. See that shit? And this is the 3.7 liter V6. Garbage, gar, garbage ass motor that Chrysler had, that 3.7 garbage ass motor. Trash. That ain't like the Jeep Commander I bought with the Hemi in it. That thing was sweet. And I got that one for 500 bucks. Dumbasses. Back in the day, I'm like back in the day, it was only a few months ago, but I'm like, back in the day you could buy a car for 500 bucks. <laughs> Somebody hit me up and they're like, TK, it's your fault. You're putting so many people, you and Randy and um, Sam Cracker putting so many people on the co-part that that's why, you know, the prices went up. I was like, yeah, whatever. I guess I got to stop bitching. <laughs> oh, man. Soul. That Kia Forte is a pure sale. It's a 19. Yeah, they're already over 50% of retail, man. Um, and it says front end damage. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. Canada, you can have that. Good luck. Good luck importing that shit. Hell no. Mm-mm-mm. Nope. Hell no. You, you, you heard that, right? That was a loud hell no. I know y'all are like, oh, but TK, that's a good deal on a Volkswagen. No. No. No, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> I done been burned by Volkswagen so hard between my Audi S8. <laughs> Yo. Between the S8 
them screwing me on the lease for the R8 that I wanted, and then this Jetta, like I just was like, eh, I'm straight. This is a pure sale though, this is not bad. Oh, this is dealer only shit. I thought I was going to be able to bid on this one. I would have bid on it just for the body panels at 275. Uh, I would have got what I wanted out of it, but yeah. It runs and drives. You I don't know if the motor is worth a rat's ass. The 4.7 is okay. It's not a Hemi though, so miss me with that shit. Five hundred bucks. You're looking at nine, almost nine hundred after fees. Y'all are tripping. You're approaching a thousand bucks for literal garbage, and that's not even the top end Aspen. You can tell because it's got the eighteen inch tires on it, the eighteen inch rims. That's the trash Aspen. Not to say that the Aspen. You know what I mean? It's not the higher trim level at all. Yep. Bye. All right, let's look and see if there's anything else coming up in these next 100 lots that I could bid early on. Altima's coming up, Chevy Cruze. That Toyota Avalon, I think I'm going to place a bid on. Let's look at it again, because 156,000 miles, that's actually not a bad car. And it looks really clean. And that damage is super minimal. It does not scare me away at all. So. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else coming up. That Mercury Sable looks interesting. The Audi TT definitely looks interesting. I might bid the house on that bitch. That 08 Sonata. That Sentra's got rear end damage. That Scion. We saw that on the way out. That's supposed to come up tomorrow though. Oh, never mind. There's the Impala for 150. Is that dealer only? Golly, man. Look at that BS, man. Volkswagen Passat with an interference motor. Nope. There's that Subaru Crosstrek with that side damage. It's already at five grand, man. Wow. Bonus time. I'm not seeing anything else. There's that forest that we walk by. I'm not seeing anything else that's grabbing my attention. There's the Prius. Ooh, that Dodge Ram, huh? 200 bucks? What's the deal with it? Why is it 200 bucks? I know the mileage, right? That's why it's 200 bucks. 5.2 liter V8. Alright, my auction item is next on the block, so... There it is, 850 bucks. Oof. All right, Ugh. I'm telling you, man, it's like impossible to win shit, man. You can have it. I'm not gonna over. I'm not overpaying. I refuse to do it, man. I refuse to overpay. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not overpaying. I'm not doing it. Bonus time. 
I am not doing it. 1200 bucks. So now that car is 1600 bucks. 1600 bucks or so, right? Oh shit. Now it's like 1800 bucks. You're at $1800 on this car and you got to fix it. Yeah, oh, I'll take that. I don't care. Oh. Oh, bad day like Oh, like yo. Uh-uh, man. I'm not you're not getting me like that. Hell no. Let's go back down here and see if there's ooh. Ooh. It's going to need some work. Oh. And it's got 196,000 miles on it. Oof. Buff. Oh, 3.4 liter too. Negative. I'll put it on the watch list though. That might be something worth 150 bucks. Not much more. All those dealer cars I can't bid on. Alright, here we go. There's a Forester 2015 Versa. What's up with that? That's what's up with that. Nope. Camry. Pontiac. 04 Trailblazer. What's up with this? this is a hot lot. Smashed in the front. It's on approval. 4.2 liter V6. With a lot of miles on oh, no, a shitty ass 4L60 E trans. But this truck, this Dodge Ram is definitely is the window busted out? Bonus time. Oh, windshield's busted out. The windshield's busted out. Shit. And the hood's but okay, now I can see the hood's all rippled. All right. You couldn't really tell from the photos, you know? So the hood's damn it. But it's a good work truck. For 200 bucks. This 04 Mitsubishi Gallant runs and drives. Minor dent and scratches. Ooh, it's a clean title. We're winning that one, guys. That's coming up in like an hour, but we're winning that one for 150 bucks. I'll take it. Let me have it. How many miles were on it? I didn't even look. I might have just fucked up. Hold on. Yeah, it's 200,000 miles on it. I'll take it, though. It's a clean title. Clean title all day. Here's a couple bikes. couple boats Bonus time. I don't know how that's a Range Rover but all right <laughs> I, I, I'll be your Huckleberry <laughs> all right, let's get back to the auction the lots are going fast. I think we could win that Mitsubishi Galant though. For 150 bucks, especially if it goes, nobody's bidding on that shit. So if I can get that for like 200 bucks, 300 bucks, how do they say it? Fuck you, pay me. Let me get that. Because even at 200,000 miles, if it runs good, man, that's a good flip car right there. I'll clean that shit up. It'll be on Facebook Marketplace tomorrow. Say less. So, your watch item is next on the block. My watch item is neck on the block. This one's 325, huh? Runs and drives. It's on reserve. Eh, fuck it. I'll bid on it. Am I going to win it? 
Am I gonna win it? Oh! I don't want it that bad. Oh! One more time. Should I do it? Ooh, and I can't win. I can't win. Oh, wow. I was about to tick down. It was like, oh, but somebody bid. Oh, they're bidding this thing up, man. That's crazy. I need y'all to blow y'all's wad, man. Get out of here, man. Y'all go ahead and spend y'all's money and leave. Especially when the when the car I want comes up. I mean, this was one of them, but look. This is what? Four cars? Five cars? That I've bid on? That I haven't been able to get what I wanted? Like, shit, man. Sold on approval. Yeah, y'all can have it. All right, I had to park for a minute, guys. Let's see what happens with this. All right, they're almost done here with their bonus time. We should be coming up on the Audi next, the Audi convertible. That's the last one I really wanted. I've been on a couple other ones here and there, but I want. I, this is why I want to show you guys the process. A lot of people think like, oh, TK just doesn't bid on shit or he's not trying to win anything. And that's that can't be the that can't be farther from the truth. I really do, but I, I just refuse to overpay for stuff. I still get stuff here and there. You know, sometimes it's higher dollar stuff like that Hertz rent a car that I got for like whatever it was fourteen thousand. You know, so and that's going to be an easy flip because it's a clean title. I'm gonna be able to clean it up, and I'll I can literally take it to CarMax. I can sell it on Carvana, believe it or not. And I won't, I won't have it but a couple of days, and I'll make a quick, you know, twenty five hundred three grand. Now people will say, "Damn, fourteen thousand to make three grand." It's not bad. Oh! Give it to me! Give it to me! Oh! Yeah. I want this freaking car, man. Oh, I just don't want, I don't want it that bad. See, y'all going to say that I, I'm tripping, but I'm, I, yeah. Look at these dudes, man. They are tripping. They are tripping. They're tripping, man. It is a pure sale. Whatever it goes for, it goes for. But this car is going to go for 9, what, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they're looking at like 1300 on this right now. Give or take a few dollars. Oh, hell no. Oh. This one's got too much damage in the rear. I mean, you can see it right there. It's it's smashed. It could be a good pizza delivery car if you want to screw in a taillight there. Or something, maybe. But 
you know, run it to the ground, but 325, that's too high. Oh, man. They are tripping. They are tripping. There's that dealer only Maxima Carrington. Look at that, man. 150 bucks. To even if it goes for 200. Yeah, they're going to bid this one up. I about to say the dealers will bid this one up cuz that that car was too clean for what it was, you know, running and driving, man. Here's that broken gas gauge. They're going to bid this one up, but still, you got to figure, even with the discounted dealer fees, it's not... Oh, actually, the, the dealer fees aren't discounted anymore. It's about volume. If you buy a lot of cars from Copart, the fees get cheaper. But if you're a dealer, it doesn't mean that you automatically get cheaper fees. So, ha ha. Ha ha! Welcome to evening the playing field and being like the rest of us. Normal Fs. 575. You guys are going to really bid this up, huh? Let's look and see if there's anything else coming up. Lexus. Then the Mercedes. Oh, the Suburban is coming up, huh? Bonus time. This one wasn't bad. I remember it was just body damage in the windshield. Ooh, it's got a lot more check engine lights than I remember seeing. How much time do I got before that Mitsubishi's coming up? A while, huh? We got a Firebird coming up. There it is. Right there. This is the one we want to win, I think, man. I could heat that up with a fucking blow dryer and pull that right out. And the interior doesn't look like ass. The engine actually looks pretty good. The Galants are usually pretty friggin' reliable, man. I think this has that Chrysler 2.4 liter engine in it too, right? South Carolina Certificate of Title. That means it's a clean title, man. I'm going to up my max bid on it. Sold on approval. New bidder. We'll put our max bid in it on, at, at 250 or 200. And that's coming up in like 48 minutes. Yeah, they're going to bid this one up. They are stupid. They can't even tell what the mileage is on it. Like, I, yo, that's dumb. Bonus time. They're tripping. Sold on approval. All right, guys, you see what it is. I'm up to 400 bucks before it even gets on the block. I'm overpaying right now. I know that I am. The retail value on this thing ain't much, you know, but it is a clean title. But somebody's trying to bid me up. And I am kind of looking at that Dodge Ram, but let's go back to the auction. We're going to wrap up the go ahead, wrap up the auction here.
04 GMC Yukon Denali. They're over 50% of retail on this one. Yeah. Look at this. The retail value, guys, on this is $6,500. And they've bid this thing up to $6,300. They literally bid this vehicle to retail. Look at this shit right here. Oh. I just want to screen grab that. Because that... I want to publish that because... That just goes to show the absolute friggin' insanity that they're doing right now. That's insane, man. Here's a 15 Corolla. Not bad. The rear end must be smashed. It is. But see, that's more equivalent to like what you should pay for something, man. This one's already, this should be maxed out right there. 450, that's it. That's max. Sold on approval. And there we go. Prius, I don't know, man. That's half a retail right now. Too much, man. Too much. Too much. Oh, man. They're tripping. Now, this isn't a bad price on this truck, to be honest. Yeah, it's got some top damage in, in the hood. Something fell on it. But it still runs and drives. These Rams were reliable, man. Good work truck. 325. You know, okay, now you're starting to get up there. They're going to overpay. That's not bad. Here we go. We're winning. Are we going to get it? Are we going to win it? Yes! Woo! Yeah, we won the Gallant. Woo! <laughs> Yo. Finally won one that wasn't friggin' overpriced, man. Holy crap. About time. That's a run and drive? Are you shitting me? Well, there you go, guys. We get to end the video on a positive note. We won a frigging car. And I think it was a pure sale. I got to look. I got to go back and see. But I think it was a pure sale. So I'm going to have to go back up and pick this up and get the title and drive it home, but now we got a car to flip, or maybe we'll give this one away, I don't know, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments, but, oh boy, are there anything else coming, is there anything else coming up that I want to throw a bid on, there's a couple bikes, let's go ahead and watch the bikes, and then we'll uh, close it out, because I don't think y'all want to see the forklifts and shit, right, maybe some of the semi-trucks, golf carts let's look and see what we got here 625 bucks All right. Sold on approval. 
here comes one of the bikes now this is a harley davidson 2019 we've looked at this one um 1700 bucks that's a good deal Here's a 2019 Indian. We've looked at this one too, and we've started this one. Retail is 23,000 on it. It's at 8,100, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. All right. Damn, man. I bet it is. 9300 So I'm probably going to be like 500 and something bucks into that Mitsubishi Galant, which is not bad for a clean titled car as long as it runs. That's going to be the thing. Will I be able to drive it home? That's the thing. Or am I going to have to get a trailer or a tow truck? I'll have to find out. Here's a Victory Vegas. We've seen this one too. This one's clean. $5,400 is what retail is. It's going for $1,800. It doesn't run. That's not bad, I guess. It's CBR 250 <laughs> 300 bucks though that's not bad i'm about to say somebody better bid that up that's cheap well we'll see what happens Five hundred, still five hundred and fifty bucks. Five twenty. That's not bad for that bike, um, if you can get it running. You know. Sold. Side by side, bill of sale. This is the one that had the valves open. Remember, we looked at this last week, and we saw the valves all open on it. Yeah. Remember this one, guys, that had the valves open and it was full of mud? The intake was just full of mud. They're going to bid this up, though, which is stupid. Because you're going to replace that motor or rebuild it. You're going to have to do, like, so much work to that. It's not even funny. Mmm. Well, guys, I don't think we care about this one. And what else is coming up? A couple of boats. Y'all want to see the boats? Mm, it's done, done for. The whole back of that hole is busted. Cracked up there, too. Yeah, that one's done. That is done. Yeah, that's done too. Is that a diesel? No, it's gas. Something fell on it. That's done. I got a couple semi trucks in here.
Well, let's look and see what it's finishing up with. Seven hundred and fifty bucks, huh? Hmm. This is them showing dump truck or whatever you call it. And this is supposedly a Ranger Rover, but it's a bill of sale. Which means no title. <laughs> These are people just bidding on stuff just to bid on stuff now. Like, this doesn't make any sense. It makes no zero sense. Zero. No sense at all, man. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. And oh my God, it was a long day. The auction, the walk around, going into the live auction. Yeah, I got the uh, previous video back in the background here. But the, the, the live auction um, and then winning the Mitsubishi. And shout out to all of you guys that follow me on Instagram. You guys already know how that situation is working out. If you don't, you definitely want to go check out at TK's Garage on Instagram. I promise it's funny. It's a good time. Anyways, uh, stay tuned. There'll be another video coming up on the Mitsubishi Galant and our Copart Wind coming soon. As well as the car that wasn't a damn headache uh, from Hertz. So stay tuned. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.